Hey guys. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get everything rolling. I'm getting the chat going so you guys can comment in the chat. So let's test it out. If you're already on here, please drop your name and where you're where you're tuning in from in the chat so I know you can hear me and that it's working okay. I am tuning in here from the Kansas City, Missouri area. All right, looks like it's working. Uh, Katra from London, very cool. Uh, Malika from LA, Melinda from Albany, Georgia, Michelle from Florida, Lona um, from Southwest UK, and tuning in from Houston, Nikesha from South Carolina, Courtney's tuning in from Boston. Welcome. Awesome. We got a lot of great people on here today. Welcome, Karen from Texas, uh, Benita from Florida. Fantastic. Awesome. I am super excited to meet you guys and go over all of this awesome stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. So get you guys a little uh, acclimated to our webinar so you know how to get the answers that you need that you are looking for. So let's dive in. I'm going to share my screen. So if you guys can put a thumbs up in the chat, if you can see my screen where it says Stay at Home Bookkeeper Academy have your cake and eat it to your exciting journey into business ownership. So if you can see that, thumbs up. Okay, great. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. All right, man, there's so many awesome people on today. I'm so excited. So I have this weird new thing where it shows my name and I don't know, that's a little kind of blurry for some reason, but oh well. Okay, so Let's just jump right in and get started. Thank you guys so much for tuning in here and, and joining me on this webinar. And I am excited to walk you guys through exactly how all of this works um, with starting your own bookkeeping business so you can work from home and achieve your personal goals when it comes to financial, but also location and time preferences as well. So if um, for those of you that are tuning in here that don't know me, haven't had a chance to meet me yet, thank you for being here. My name's Tiffany Higgins. I'm a CPA and a mom of five. I founded the Stay at Home Bookkeeper Academy after my family experienced all the wonderful things that happened to us when I decided to start my bookkeeping business back in 2015. I was able to work part-time from home. I grew my business with a six-month-old and two elementary school age children at home with me very quickly and very easily, much to my surprise, and so much so that my husband was actually able to quit his job within about seven months of creating my LLC. This was totally unexpected because I just wanted to have a little side hustle so I could be a stay-at-home mom again. And it was very easy to find people that needed my help and be able to grow my bookkeeping business. But it was also easy to get all of this work done in a flexible schedule and still be the stay-at-home mom that I wanted to be for my kids. And within about seven months, like I mentioned, I had brought in enough money that it actually covered all of our bills at the time. And so I was able to let my husband quit his corporate job and be home with us too, which then made it even easier for me to do the work for my clients and then be able to have so much time where I could focus and dedicate to my kids, my family, the things that I wanted to do for my life. He actually got to retire on Christmas Eve of 2015, which was really cool. It was a fun Christmas present. Um, but since then, even, even at that point, we were able to continue to not only grow my business over time, but we also grew our family. We ended up bringing twins into the world. We decided to homeschool our older children. We actually relocated to a different city, bought a nicer house, all of this, and even nursed twins for two years. And during this whole time, our business was thriving. Our business was even growing. And we were making more money doing this business working part-time than my husband and I had ever made working full-time with both of our corporate jobs combined. So it really was like a total dream come true. We really were able to have our cake and eat it too. And we decided that we wanted to show other people how to do this. And so the Stay at Home Bookkeeper Academy was born back in April of 2019. And since then, we have grown uh, the Bookkeeper Academy to helping thousands of other families work less, make more, 
and build a virtual business that is not only in high demand, but also recession proof and very, very needed for every, every single small business out there. So our, our mission at the Bookkeeper Academy is to empower people to become financially independent without sacrificing connectivity with their families by offering the education and framework to launch their own bookkeeping business from home. So this is why we are here. This is what we stand for. Our motto is have your cake and eat it too, because we want you to be able to have the type of financial uh, abundance that you want for your family, hit all of your financial goals, but also be able to have that time to be the kind of parent that you want to be or live the kind of lifestyle that you want to live. We don't want you to have to pick between those two things, because if you're like me, when my first kids were were younger, I had to sacrifice. I wanted to be home with them and that came at a huge cost. I did not have money. We were broke. We struggled a lot. We didn't get to do things I wanted to do. And at that time it was, that's what I chose to do. But when I had my third child, I knew I was feeling that pull again, where I knew I couldn't have both and I didn't like it, but I didn't want to be broke again for the rest of my life. So I figured out how to fix that and have the best of both worlds. So that is what I want to show you guys today, exactly how it works and how you can have the best of both worlds as well. So um, the first thing I'd love to know, if you could type in the chat, um, I would love to know who we all have here today. So type a one if you have been on a webinar with me here recently in the past. And if you haven't, if you're totally new, drop a two. Um, so I know exactly, uh, you know, how many people we've got here. So Jolene, I see you on there. And Kalani, welcome back. Good to see you. Lots of new people, lots of new people. Oh, great. There's so many new people. This is fantastic. Wow. I love it. Azaria. Hey, girl. Hey, Courtney. Awesome. Paulette's back. Yes, this is so exciting. Welcome, guys, everybody. This is fantastic. So for everybody that's returning, um, welcome back. I love that you're getting more information, feeling more comfortable for some of you, uh, motivating yourself again, because keeping your eye on these goals, on these achievable targets, that's what keeps you motivated and excited, even when sometimes the work of starting a business is, you know, there's work to it, right? So um, welcome back if you're here. And if you are new, thank you so much for joining. You are welcome to come to as many of these webinars as you want. I know starting a business is something some people have to think about for a little bit, but um, you're welcome to come anytime. If you also have somebody that wants to help you make this decision, like a spouse, a family member, significant other, something like that, you're welcome to bring them. I will also be sending this recording out so you guys can share it with them. I love questions from you guys. I love questions from anyone, everyone that's going to help you make this decision. Um, no question is a stupid question. So please um, write your questions down and we'll go over them. I will stay on um, for as long as there are questions towards the end. So if you guys have the time to hang on with me through you know, all morning, I'll be answering all of those questions. These webinars do tend to run a while because people have such great questions. So if you have to leave and come back, that's okay. Um, if you can't stay on the whole time, I will send you the recording. But if you are able to stay on, it's going to be fantastic because I'll be able to answer everything, anything that comes up. So if you're in a position where you can take notes, have a pen and paper, um, you can do that. I'll also show you how you can submit questions to me as well. So um, next thing is, let's see, I am going to do these webinars every Thursday and every Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Time. I will have a couple that I'm going to be missing here in a few weeks because I am actually taking one of our students to Jamaica to celebrate her business. She started about four years ago. She's on track to make about $500,000 this year. And she started when she was 23, no experience in bookkeeping or accounting, never even heard of QuickBooks before. And now she is uh, on her way to a half a million dollar business after running it for the last four years. And we are going to Jamaica to celebrate all of her success. And she's only 26 right now, about to turn 27. So, um, you know, if she can do it, you guys can all do it as well. And we will guide you through exactly how to do it. 
Um, but if you have questions, uh, the chat gets really exciting and really busy. So if you have a question that you don't want me to miss, feel free to click the Q&A button and drop it in there. So that way I can make sure and answer every single question. I love questions. I love for this to be interactive. So don't hesitate to drop a question in there. And if you're feeling shy, you can even post it anonymously. So no worries. Put your questions in the chat. Okay, so here's what we're going to do for the call today so you guys kind of have an idea. Um, the first thing that we're going to talk about is uh, just the details first. I'm going to go over the investment options for our program so you know what that is going into this presentation and you can understand like how how this works, how much you're going to need to invest to get started. But then as you watch the presentation, you'll understand how much money you're going to make and why it makes sense. But I'm also going to show you how you can actually get started with as little as $640 down to get started today, because every single person is guaranteed funding for our program. Um, it's kind of like, you know, if you go to college and you get you can get automatic loans for college. Our program is like that too. We have a lender that we've been working with because of the success of our students. They know that it's safe for them to uh, fund anyone. So no matter if you have good credit, bad credit, no credit, great income, no income, you are approved for our program. So don't worry about that at all. Our lender will, will approve you no matter what. And so I'll go over the details of that here soon. And then we're going to dive into the fun part. And this is like setting your goals. It's the first step in kind of determining where are you right now? What's the baseline? Where do you want to be as you start your business? And where do you want to be as you continue to grow it? So I'm going to help you guys define those goals. And then that way, I will show you the third thing is the why and how a bookkeeping business is able to help you reach those goals. So I'm going to give you the exact roadmap, you know, the timeline, the how, the why behind it. And I'll explain all of that too. So it's crystal clear in your mind and you have clarity on exactly how you're going to reach your goals financially and with time and location freedom as well um, if you start your bookkeeping business. And then lastly, I'll walk you through how our team can help you set the foundation for your bookkeeping business and why you would want to enroll in our bookkeeper academy to be able to uh, grow a business and reach those goals. So diving in, just tell you the details first about the Academy Investment, how you can get started with our new guaranteed funding program. And then if you're new here, you're gonna be able to see how you can turn this investment into lifelong money for your family. Um, but I wanna be upfront with you guys so you know what you're working with. So you don't have to sit through this whole webinar wondering like what's the catch, what's the price, that kind of stuff. So for our full Bookkeeper Academy program for 12 months, it's a $12,000 investment. And we help you take that and turn it into a $100,000 business by the end of your 12 months. And this is working part-time. I'll show you the time commitment here in a little bit. And even starting with little to no experience. So like I mentioned, you can get started for as little as $640 down. Sometimes people even less if they do have good credit, but that's worst case scenario. You could get started with $640 down. I'll show you that in a minute. But what you really want to focus on here is the ROI that you're going to be getting on this investment. So we don't want you to make an investment into something unless you are going to get a return on it, right? So our program is setting you up for being able to have a 10x return on investment, which means in the first year or so, we expect you to make $100,000 to $120,000 with your bookkeeping business. So you are almost making a full 10x return on investment in the first year. Now, if you invest your money in real estate, in the stock market, in a savings account, in a CD, something like that, you aren't going to get anywhere close to a 10 times return on investment, maybe like 1% or like a fraction of it. So, um, and a lot of times it takes longer than one year to see any type of return. So whenever you decide that you want to start investing in things, the first thing you should always invest in is yourself and or your business, because that's going to get you the biggest return. Then you're going to take the profit from your business and then go invest in those other things that are more passive. They have a smaller return, but they are passive. So you can use your business to fund your retirement and things like that. But the business is going to get you the biggest return on investment. And this is just in the first year or so alone. So as you can, as you can see for Kaylee, who's going to Jamaica with me in a couple of weeks, 
She's coming up on a $500,000 business. Obviously, it's taken her four years or so to get to that. But over, over the time, she's made a lot more money than just the $12,000 or even just the $100,000, right? So in the first year, we expect about a 10x return on investment. And like I mentioned, due to the Bookkeeper Academy student success rate, our funding specialist has decided to approve anyone who wants to enroll in our program, which is fantastic because I know a lot of people these days are struggling. They're living paycheck to paycheck, and um, it's hard to keep up on good credit when you're in that situation. So a lot of people have, you know, iffy credit and things like that. But this program, this funding specialist is approving everybody and doing it super quickly. And the payments are really, really affordable. So it's like less than a car payment. And then you can use your bookkeeping business to buy yourself a car if you need one. So the monthly payment amount is dependent on your credit score, but the highest amount that it would be um, is $640. So if you can figure out, and I'll show you guys here in a little bit, how to come up with that payment for at least the first two to three months of your enrollment in the Bookkeeper Academy, you're going to start getting clients that will be covering that payment for all future months and replacing your corporate job income and things like that. So kind of jot that number down, keep that in mind as we go through here, and you'll see how quickly and easily it will be for you to be able to cover that payment with your business really quickly. It's actually the equivalent of only like one to two super small clients. So you'll be able to get those clients quickly cover that payment. And if you have really great credit, then your payments could be as low as $290 per month. Of course, you are always welcome to pay that off directly to and not go through the funding specialist at all. But we do have that option for those of you that want to get started with the least amount out of pocket as possible. And then you are, in, in every option, you have the ability to pay the balance off within 12 months and it's all interest free, which is great. So um, my question for you guys, as I started to dive into there, and we're going to start talking about goals next, I would love to know, for those of you that are on this call right now, where is everybody's head at? Where's your, where's your mindset at? Do you believe that you can make $100,000 in 12 months? Is that a belief that you have? So if you say, yes, I, I think with the right mentor, the right opportunity, the right tools, the right guidance, I could absolutely make $100,000 in 12 months, type of one. If you feel like you've never made that kind of money before, you have no idea how that would ever be possible, you have, you know, don't know if you believe that you could do it, type of two. So I'm absolutely ready with guidance. Awesome, Lauren. I love that. So we've got some ones and we've got some twos. I love it. So everybody feels a little bit different in here. And this is one of the barriers to success is first your belief and your mindset. I think after this call, when I show you how a bookkeeping business works, you might have a little bit more belief that it is possible. But if you have a two, one of the things I want you to work on today, tonight, just going into the future is belief about it. What is holding you back from believing that you could do this? So working on your, your thoughts, your mindset around that, maybe coming up and you guys are more than welcome to email me and let me know what is what is troubling you, what is holding you up that makes, makes you feel like maybe you wouldn't be able to um, make that kind of money. Um, it's usually what is called a limiting belief that you're telling yourself and everybody does it. Everybody does it in different ways and for different reasons, but there's usually um, some kind of limiting belief that's buried back there from our childhood or our personal experiences that has made us think that. And all it takes is a little bit of a perspective shift. And then you're like, wait a minute, I really can do this. Sometimes what that, what that takes is to actually just get going and getting some traction and proving to yourself that it, it works. So like for me, when I started my business, I just thought I just need a couple clients. That's it just a couple clients. I didn't really think I would be able to get more than that. I had no thoughts about it at all. But when I started getting clients, it opened my mind to the possibility. And I was like, wow, if I can get these couple clients this easy, 
maybe I can get four clients or five clients or six clients. So sometimes it takes a little bit of proving to yourself before you do believe it. But then once you do, then your mind keeps expanding. And that's what's great about having a business too. Your personal development is going to continue to grow as well. And you'll believe more, you'll have more confidence. Um, what's really cool Um Oh, I was going to give the link to you guys to the podcast, but I think the link changed. Um, Rachel, if you're on here, if you have the link to Jen's podcast interview, that would be great if you could drop it in the chat for me. I wanted to share that with you guys because this is a, a student that, you know, struggled with her confidence at the beginning. And then she talks about how the biggest benefit that she's gotten from starting her business is confidence, which is really cool. So, but we're going to talk about goals now and the roadmap to making five, 10, or even $20,000 per month starting from ground zero. So drop a fire emoji or your favorite emoji in the chat if you guys are ready to hear exactly how you can do this with a bookkeeping business starting from ground zero. While you guys are dropping the emojis in there, Katra says, can you please go into detail how one would go about starting this business in the UK? Yes. Awesome. Woohoo. Love in the fire emojis. Um, Katra. So for those of you that are tuning in from the UK, we do have a UK course that is available to you. We don't currently have a UK coach because we just don't have as we don't really focus and target um, UK students, but we have had successful UK students go through our program. So we will, we will get you some information after this. If you want to shoot me an email and let me know that you're in the UK, we can get you some resources on how to get started. So that is fantastic because everything translates over to the UK as well. Um, the pricing, the work, everything in this presentation is going to be the same across the UK, Canada, the US, all of it. So all of this is great. Okay. There's the, uh, the podcast interview for Jen. So if you guys want to bookmark you that, whoops, you are welcome to do that. And that um, she talks a lot about how her confidence has shifted. Okay. Um, yes, the lending program, great question, Lona, is only available for um, US. And then we do have a lending program for Canadians, but it's a little bit different. Um, but mostly what I'm talking about, the, the funding specialist and the lending program, it is for the U.S. Yes. So, um, but again, if you guys are tuning in from the U.K., I'll drop my email address in here. So you guys can also email me and I can get you some U.K. resources and point you into the right direction there. All right. So, but let's first go ahead and um, dive in to some goals. So, this will help you set a foundation for your family. And then I'm going to show you the roadmap for how you can reach these goals on these upcoming slides and how a bookkeeping business can help you do that. So let's get some complete clarity on what to expect should you move forward with your bookkeeping business. And we're going to dive in. The first goal that I like to go over is the financial goals, because without money, you usually can't accomplish the time and location goals that you have for yourself. So the financial, the money part, that's the most important part right at the beginning. So we're going to dive into that. Uh, Danielle, I went over the lending details a little bit, but I'll go over them again here shortly. So no worries. Okay, so we're going to break your financial goals down into three different goals. The first one is going to be the bare minimum goal. So this is going to be the first goal that you want to hit in your bookkeeping business that's going to give you the confidence that you're on the right path, establishing proof of concept, helping you kind of reach that, reach that first stage where you can start making a few little changes in your life that you really want to see. So for example, for me, back in 2015, my bare minimum goal was $2,000 a month. Back then, I was making about $3,500 a month after taxes at my CPA job, but I was paying a nanny $1,500 a month to watch my kids while I was gone. I just had my third baby. I didn't want her to go to daycare, so I really overpaid on the whole nanny experience, but I, I wanted that. 
obviously having that huge chunk come out of my check every month was a big shock to our budget and it was really difficult, but somehow we were making it work off of $2,000 a month to go towards our bills. So I knew that I needed more, but I knew for a bit I could handle that. So the $2,000 a month was my first goal when I started my bookkeeping business. It was my bare minimum. So type in the chat, what would that be for you? What would be your bare minimum goal that you would need to make in your business to cover whatever it is that you want to cover, your portion of the expenses or the ability for you to like quit your job, part-time job or drop to part-time hours or what would that be? And it could be different for everybody. It's totally dependent on your situation. And of course, my goal, this was back in 2015. So with inflation and stuff, it's probably a little higher for you guys. So 3,000, 4,500, 2,500, 2,500, 3K, 25, 5,000. 65 annual. All right. 4,000. Great. Awesome. Okay. Keep those coming. So that's financial. That's your financial goal. Number one, your bare minimum. So now what's the next stage? Let's say you hit that goal in your, in your business and you're like, okay, this is great. Now I can, I can get some, I've got some traction. I can kind of breathe. I'm, I'm excited. My mind is open to the possibilities. Now we need to figure out what is the next goal that you're going to strive for. And this one would be a goal that makes you comfortable, content, where you are worry-free. You're not having to budget every penny. Um, you don't have to worry about grocery store prices or worry about getting late on your mortgage payment. You can go out to dinner, things like that. This isn't like where you can live an extravagant life. You still have to kind of, you know, pay attention to your finances, but you don't have to stress so much. You don't have to worry. You can do your day to day. You can start reaching some of your lifestyle goals. Like, so for us, this was around five to $6,000 a month for us back at the time. And this allowed me to cover all of our expenses typically for the month. So my husband could quit his job. So that was a lifestyle goal that we were, we were able to reach. So around, you know, five, $6,000 a month is all we needed. And again, I wasn't like totally happy staying there because I wanted to be able to knock off some bucket list items, but this was something that was, we were comfortable. We weren't stressed about money all the time. And my husband had got to quit his job. So drop in the chat, if you haven't already, what is your goal number two, where you're covered, content, and, you know, semi-worried free? All right. 10, 8, 5, 5, 4. Awesome. Great. And then the last financial goal that I like to start with and having a clarity on this is a wow goal. So if you could start reaching some of your family's financial goals, bucket list items, things that you guys dream about right now, dream about accomplishing, how much do you think you would need per month to be able to do that? So for us, I didn't want to budget. I wanted to take family vacations multiple times a year. I wanted to get a brand new car. I'd never had a brand new car. I always had little junkers and beaters. I wanted a brand new car. And um, we wanted a house with a pool. So there was a whole bunch of things that, you know, I wanted. And um, I knew I need I needed to have like 10K per month for me to be able to do that at the time. So those were, those were my goals. So what is your financial goal number three, your wow goal? 10, Jolene says 10, Nikesha says 20, Paulette says 11, Karen says 15 to 20. I want to retire my husband, get him involved in the business. Yes, that's what Jen did as well. My husband did too. Katra says 15, five. Once I clean up a scam mess, 5,000 a month would open up a new world. Awesome. Yes, 10,000 for Naomi, 10 to 15 for Lona, 20 for Benita, 10 for Megan, 12 for Jocelyn, 8 for Ngozi, Kareen, 20K. Awesome. You guys have great goals. These are fantastic. Okay, so remember those for the upcoming slides here. So the other important thing about starting a business and about your life and your family is having some goals with your time because time is more valuable than money. You can't get it back. And that's how I always felt with my kids is they're growing. I'm never going to get this time back and I want to be there for it. So I had a lot of specific time goals 
and a preferred time commitment that I wanted to make to my business and that I wanted to make to my family. So if you can write down, what is your current schedule with work right now? And I want you guys to think about all the time that you're away from your family. So you want to include the commute, um, you know, your lunch hour, things like that. If you work outside the home, how much time do you actually work? If you don't work right now, how much time would you have to work to reach some of these goals that you have? So, you know, pick one of your goals and, and write in the chat, how much time would you have to work? And Jennifer says too much time and I hate it. I know it's, it's so frustrating. It's so hard, especially when you feel trapped, you feel like there is nothing you can do about it. And I know I'm here selling you guys into a bookkeeper academy, but I'm also want you guys to know that this is a path to freedom. This is a path to being able to have options, have choices, be able to take more control over your life. So I am so excited to help you provide, provide you an opportunity and option to be able to do that. So Danielle says she's gone 35 to 40 hours, um, 15 hours away from home, 50 to 60 for Naomi. Um, oh, Jolene says 15 hours per day. Oh my goodness. Lauren says 60 hours per week. Karen says my kids are grown, but I'm spending eight hours a day full time. And then another 15 to 20 hours a week on a side hustle. Okay. Yeah. So that's a lot of time, a lot of time. And then of course, if, even if your kids are grown, when you work like that, you can't go visit them. You can't see them when you want to see them. You can't travel. Um, so that can be rough too. Even if you've got grown kids, it might even be harder because they live somewhere else. Um, Nikesha says 10 hours a day, that's eight hours work, two hours commute. Yep. 45, 45 to 50. Okay. So Benito works from home, but you know, still you're probably stuck at, you know, punching a clock, having to commit certain time, not maybe having the flexibility, or maybe some of you do have you know, the time, but you're needing the money. So, you know, there's a lot of different ways that this business could benefit, could benefit you. So um, in a perfect scenario, think about this, how many hours per week would you actually like to work? If you could set your own schedule and determine your own hours, how many hours per day or how many hours per week would you like to work? Drop that in the chat. And then while you guys are doing that, 20 to 30 hours max, 10, 5, 20, 20 or less. Yes, I love that. Okay, so um, time is really important, but you know what? For a lot of people, so is location, right? Some people really want to be able to work from home. Some people really want to be able to work from the RV. Some people want to be able to travel when they need to. They've got family across the country or they just want to go, you know, explore and travel. But where is it that you want to work? I know for me, I always wanted to be able to work from home. I love working from home. I want to be there anytime my kids need me. I don't want to have to, you know, worry about calling in sick or something like that. If my kids are sick or if they want to, if they have a field trip or something like that, then I want to be able to go and rearrange my schedule. So um, where do you want to work? Drop that in the chat. Um Danielle says from home, Nikisha says work from home and would love to travel whenever I want to. Yes. And this is location freedom. It's nice to have a virtual business where you can not only work from wherever, but also choose to set your own schedule and your own hours. So one day you could work a full eight hour day and then the rest of the week, maybe you only work an hour. It's really great. Working from anywhere. I love it. Okay, so then um, what usually happens when you have a bookkeeping business is after you reach those first couple of financial goals, then you end up having that you end up achieving the time and the location goals that you want because you get to quit your jobs and focus on your bookkeeping business primarily. But then after that, if you choose to continue to invest time in your business, you get to knock off these bucket list items. So what I've seen past students do is they've been able to get become completely debt free. Uh, I actually had a student who her husband went to chiropractic school for like eight years. I think he got some like advanced training and he had about $160,000 of student loan debt from chiropractic school. And within about two years, she paid off all of his debt 
with her bookkeeping business. They didn't need money from her bookkeeping business to pay their normal day-to-day -day stuff. His chiropractic business paid for it. She stayed home and homeschooled their four kids, but she started her bookkeeping business up on the side and was able to bring in enough that it completely paid off his student loans. And then she started making more money than her husband even does as a chiropractor, which is really cool. Um, so debt payoff can be one really great thing that you can do with your business and the profit that you have from it. I've seen a lot of people either buy their first home, upgrade their house, buy a dream home that they've always had or wanted to have. I've seen other people invest money into their retirement, into real estate. I've seen people take their dream vacations where they got to go to Disney and all those kinds of stuff. So if you got to knock off your bucket list item, what is the first thing that you would want to do? if you exceeded your wow goal with your bookkeeping business. And I should say when, because you will, if you want to. So um, stop working two jobs, Amanda says, yeah. Okay, so Danielle would be debt-free. She would purchase her forever home, no more renting. Benita would be debt-free, pay off debt. Naomi would buy a house. Uh, Ngozi would pay off debt, purchase home, take care of mom, awesome. Debt-free, but mostly buy a home. Debt-free, update the house. Steinway Grand Piano. Awesome. I love playing the piano. It's my favorite hobby right now. Kareen says debt-free. Lauren says pay contractor to build my home on the land I already own. Awesome. Debt-free and full homesteading. Pay off hospital debt. Purchase myself a house and my mother a house. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, so like all of these things are things that you guys can accomplish with your bookkeeping business. And some of these larger goals, this takes like a year or so to get to this point, but very, very doable and something you can do. And actually to celebrate my year in business, my very first year back in 2016, we bought a brand new van and I completely paid it off within about six months. And it was a $45,000 van at the time. I, we, my bookkeeping business was our sole source of income. So we got approved for this van and then I paid it all off like really quickly, just with the bookkeeping business income coming in, which was awesome. We still drive that car today. Um, I'm thinking about getting it wrapped. But then we also took that car and we loaded our kids up and we went on a 16 day vacation across the country. And this was kind of to celebrate my one year in business. We went to Estes Park, Colorado, Mission Beach, California, and we stopped at the Grand Canyon before coming home. But I used my bookkeeping business income to fund this vacation, and I was able to be gone for 16 days without having any issues. My clients were fine. Everything was fine. I did a little bit of work with my laptop while we were on vacation, and I just got caught up when I got home. It's super flexible. Bookkeeping is something, and I'll show you more about it, but it's something that you can structure over the month. It's not something that has to be done every single day. You can space it out um, over a month, which that's what gives you so much time flexibility. Um, but then we also were able to buy a new house when after I had my twins and all those kinds of things with our bookkeeping business. So now I want to dive in and show you guys the how behind the bookkeeping business and how it can actually help you reach the goals that you guys have all shared with me here today. So you're going to get all of the information on that. And then of course, show you again, how to take advantage of our 100% guaranteed approval process. So you guys can get started ASAP. And I want to show you this really quickly. Um, can you guys see my screen here where it's got crystal? Um, her post here, I think you guys can see it. Put a thumbs up in the chat if you can see Crystal's post. Okay, Crystal joined our webinar last Saturday um, and she decided to go ahead and apply through our funding specialist on Saturday. She got immediately approved by Saturday night and booked her call for Monday morning to talk to the lender. Then she put her down payment on, signed the paperwork, and by Monday night or Tuesday morning, she was already in the academy. And then she posted this. I just started the academy yesterday, got invited to the local young professional mingle, and just got my first prospect. She wants to start with cleanup work and then go from there. And then she also says here at the bottom, I was also invited to join the Chamber of Commerce breakfast um, in two weeks which is really cool. So I just wanted to show that really quick to you guys because you can actually get these results really quickly. And so um, I wanted to share that really fast, but 
now we're going to dive into like how she can achieve those goals and how she's going to achieve them in the academy and how you will too. So the first thing that I like to go over is the average time that it takes students to reach various levels of consistent, reoccurring, dependable monthly income in their bookkeeping business. So there are several ways you can earn money when you have a bookkeeping business. And those other ways like cleanup jobs, one-time fees like Crystal was talking about, um, commission income, payroll income, all of that is really great money, but those things are not as consistent. So I want to focus on the actual consistency that you will get as a bookkeeper, because we know we want to make our business uh, feel as safe as a lot of you guys feel with your job, where it's consistent, it's dependable, it's reoccurring. It hits your bank account the first of every month, so you've got it in there and you know you can count on it. So this picture is a real realistic conservative uh, time frame of when you can expect to have this consistent income. So on average, what we see for our students that are consistently following our marketing plan, you can bring in about $1,000 a month in reoccurring income for every month that you're in business. And this is assuming that you're continuing to do the marketing on a consistent basis. And of course we walk you through that, but this is what we typically see additional thousand bucks a month for every month that you're in business. So if your first goal, let's say my first goal was $2,000 a month, it'll take you approximately two months or so to reach that, that goal consistently. If your my second goal was around 5,000, it'll take about five months or so to reach that. So for those of you that are, you know, aiming your first goal around 3,000, you could actually hit that goal sometime around Christmas or right after the beginning of the new year. So how would you guys like to be able to hit your first goal around Christmas time? That would be amazing, right? So um, during tax season, we also see a lot of our students kind of blow past this timeline. There's a lot of clients that are looking for help around uh, September, October, and then again, January through, through March and April. So that is speeds up this timeline. Another thing to notate as well, that this chart and these results are kind of based on our average student. And our average student is not only working full time like most of you, but they also have little kids at home and they have a busy schedule. So what we what we expect and what we help you do is put to about an hour a day towards your marketing and you can still achieve these results. So if you have more time available, then you can get to these results faster. So it just depends on your situation, how much time you want to put into it. But if you're consistent, you keep following our steps and our plans, this is kind of what you can expect. So for example, at the beginning, when I told you worst case scenario, your payments for the academy um, are going to be $640 a month. As you can see, you're going to have that covered easily, almost what tripled almost um, within a couple of months. So for those of you that want to get started with this, really, as long as you can cover the first few payments, your business is going to help you fund the rest of them. So it's really exciting. All right. And then of course, to get to your wow goals, so a lot of you have a wow goal, like around $10,000 a month. That could really happen by the end of next summer. So maybe around August, you could be at $10,000 a month in your business. Now, when people ask me, okay, so that's how much money I can make, but how many clients do I actually need to bring in that kind of money? And here's a chart that kind of shows you an example of how approximately how many clients. This is based off of super small clients. So um, every client you get is going to be a little different. And so there's going to be a little bit of a range to this, but this is based on our average super small client. A lot of our students get larger clients. And if you do get a larger client, obviously you're just going to need less. Um, like for example, we had a student named Kim and in December she got her first client and this client was a larger client. So she was actually able to charge him $2,200 per month. So instead of needing four clients, she only needed one. And then she was at her first goal. So when I had my bookkeeping business at the height of it, I was making $20,000 per month. And I only had 33 clients instead of the 40 listed here. 
so you guys can get a feel for what the typical range is. But if you look at this chart, type in the chat, how many clients do you need to hit your first goal? For me, I needed about four. And this chart is based off of three different things. Number one, when I was working at the CPA firm, I did all the bookkeeping. And when I did the bookkeeping, I saw what my boss charged his clients. And I also knew how long it took me to do the work. So I knew I only needed about four clients to make this kind of money. And I knew it wasn't going to take me long to do the work. So since then, I replicated that process for my own bookkeeping business. And then I've also helped thousands of people do the same with their bookkeeping business as well. So you're going to need approximately, for me, I needed four clients. So it looks like on average, people are doing four to six to eight clients uh, for their first. I love it. Okay. Karen says, were you doing all the work for those 33 clients to make 10K? I was doing all of the work for those clients and I was making 20K. Yes. I was making $20,000 a month and I was doing the work and my, um, my husband and I were actually doing some of the work together and we did not work a combined. We worked about 35 hours a week. So even with both of us doing the work, we didn't work more than we worked less than a full-time shift at $20,000. So I'll, I have a whole slide on that too. So um, Karen needs 16, Paula eight, make that eight for my first goal. Awesome. Okay. So I want to show you guys the potential now for how many clients are out there. So keep in mind how many you need. Now let's look at how many there are available. So this chart shows you the potential clients that were in um, 2017 through 2022. So the first thing I want to note on here is over the six year time span, it went up every year. Businesses grew every year and there's a total of 33.2 million businesses in existence in 2022 alone. And as you can see, you guys only need like eight, six, five, four clients. There's 33.2 million, million. And so as you can see, it grew steadily too. Every year there's more businesses. And in fact, there are over 500,000 small businesses that start up every single month in the US. This is US stats, um, but it's the same everywhere. There's businesses growing and starting up everywhere. Bookkeepers and CPAs are retiring in droves and there isn't anyone to replace them because there's been a huge decline in people interested in getting accounting degrees, probably because of the low pay and the long hours during tax season. So what this chart is showing, showing you is that there are clients literally everywhere. There will never be a shortage of potential clients for you, tons of fish in the sea, and there will never be enough bookkeepers out there to help everyone. But the cool thing is with bookkeeping, it's also a required service for every business. It's not a luxury item that you have to try and convince a business owner to purchase or try to convince them that they need it. Business owners already know they need it. They already understand and are convinced of the value of bookkeeping. So finding a client, obviously with this client pool is relatively easy, but showing them that you, that they need bookkeeping and that they should hire you is also relatively easy as well. Of course, in our bookkeeper Academy, we literally walk you through all of that. We even have scripts for you. So you don't have to worry about figuring all that out on your own. And I'll show you the details about that on an upcoming slide. But based on this chart, and based on the number of clients that you need, if you have the right guidance with marketing, do you feel like it is doable? So type a yes or no in the chat. If you feel like it's doable for you to be able to find enough clients that you can reach your first goal. Benita says, yes, 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 absolutely doable. Awesome. I love it for sure. Christy says, not sure. Great. If you have any specific questions on that or what makes you feel that way too, write those down or submit those to me too. But we're going to talk about marketing so you guys know exactly how and where, Haley says, but I'm worried about where to find them. Right. And I will show you guys all about that too. Great. I love it. Lauren says, I have to get back to work. Can you send me the link of this video later? Yes, absolutely. I'm going to copy this down and... Put that in the chat here for myself. Okay, I'm going to send Lauren the answer or the recording.
Okay. Yeah. Kareen, I don't know what the business stats are specifically for Canada, but we have a lot of Canadian students and they, number one, don't struggle finding clients either. It's, I mean, it's the, it's the same as U.S. And number two, even if you're in Canada, you can still get clients in the U.S., which is fantastic. And yes, I will send you guys all the link um, to watch this recording as well. Um, Melinda says, I'm so ready to start this journey. Me too. I'm ready to have you in the academy. Let's get you going. So, okay. The um, favorite slide, my favorite slide of the whole presentation here is the actual time commitment that it takes for you to get the work done in your business. Because Money is great, but if it takes you, you know, a hundred hours a week to get this done, then that's not what we want, right? We don't want you to kill yourself over this business. We want this business to provide you financial freedom, but also time freedom too. So this chart is one of my favorites because it usually blows people's mind on how long it actually takes to do the bookkeeping work for clients at various income levels. So as you can see on this chart, when I was going to hit my first goal of $2,000 a month, I knew from experience working in my CPA firm that it was only going to take me about four hours per week to do all of the bookkeeping work for the clients that I had when I was making $2,000 a month, four hours a week. So take a look at this chart. I want you guys to look at, maybe look at where, what are you making right now? And then scroll over. Let's say you're making $5,000 a month right now. So if you had a bookkeeping business and you were making $5,000 a month in your bookkeeping business, you'd only have to work 10 hours a week. How many hours are you working right now in your job? So take your total time that you posted earlier in the chat and subtract out the amount of time that you would be working if you had a bookkeeping business and then type in the chat how many hours you would save. So for me let's say making $4,000 a month is kind of what I was making before I quit my job, not counting the nanny. And I was working 40 hours a week, but with my bookkeeping business, I'd only have to work eight. So I was going to save 32 hours. I could spend that time with my daughter. So tell me in the chat, how many hours would you save if you were doing bookkeeping instead of what you're doing now? Mary says, uh, Mary says, can't, if we go through your lender, can we pay it off anytime with no penalties? hundred percent. Yes. And it's also interest free if you pay it off within 12 months. So that's really awesome because then you don't even have to worry about the interest. I know that bothers a lot of people. So you're more than welcome to do that. And I'll show you how you can pay it off within a couple months using cleanup work here soon on the upcoming slide. Um, Nakisha says, wow, big difference. I'm definitely overworked and underpaid. This is sad. Yeah. Yes. And it, it sucks to feel that way. Um, Naomi says she would save 50 hours. Holy cow. Danielle says of all the bookkeeping webinars and courses I've checked out, yours is the only one I've seen to offer financial lending. That shows how confident and promising it is. That's so amazing. Yes. This is my full focus. I have dedicated everything into helping everyone that joins this program get success and make sure that this program is amazing. And because of that, you know, we've grown really well. We've developed really great relationships with people. And our lender really loves working with our students because they get results and they make money and then they can pay their bills, which is fantastic. So thank you, Danielle. I really appreciate it. Um, Nikesha says, I need to get out of this corporate job ASAP. All right. Well, we're going to definitely show you guys exactly how to get started. And like I showed you with Crystal's um, picture, you, if you apply for funding and you've got that first payment ready to go, you could literally be in our academy by tomorrow and you could literally have your next client the next day. Um, it can happen. I've seen it happen and it just happened to Crystal. So um, Sharon says 30 hours she would save. Melinda would save 20. Um, Paulette said 25 plus hours saved. Haley would save 46 hours a week. Oh my gosh. Jolene would save 30 to 40. Uh, Ngozi would save 30 to 40. Uh, Lona would save 12.75 hours. You can't see the chart, Jennifer. I wonder why. Um, for my, can you guys all see the chart? Karen says for my goal number two, I would cut my time in half, save 20 hours. I would love to just save on the drive time. Yes. Awesome. But Benita would save a lot. 
Um, Danielle says, is it go at your own pace or is it scheduled out? Great question. So our, our academy is self-paced. We are going to meet you at the level that you want to work at. So if you want to go slow and you want to, you know, reach the two, three, four thousand dollar mark over a six to eight to 12 month span, that's totally fine. Because if your goal is to just replace the bare minimum so you can have that time with your family, that's our goal for you. Our goal is your goal. If you're one of our students that comes in and you want to make $10,000 a month in your first 12 months, we're going to help you. We're going to meet you at that goal. So it is totally set up as self-paced. You will have access to everything from day one, everything. Um, and we will, we will push you based on your goals. So for example, if you have really good goals like that, we're going to tell you, hey, look, it's not going to be the best use of your time to go through all of our coursework because that's going to take time. If you want to make if you want to make money, let's focus on marketing. And then as you are running into questions, we'll point you to the right place to fill in that knowledge gap. So we can really help you get to your goals no matter what. So it is self-paced and it's every it's it's going to be structured for each person. And we have a client success director that works with you on keeping, helping you keep accountable to your goals and your marketing plan that we help you develop. Um, Jennifer, I don't know why you can't, um, you might be able to toggle. I, I don't, I'm not sure why it's not working for you. Sometimes if you're on a Mac, it's really strange with, so if you're on a Mac or an Apple computer, it might be weird. Um, let's see. Christy says, can you really do this if you aren't a CPA or college graduate? I'm a bookkeeper for automotive dealerships and have done bookkeeping and QuickBooks when my husband and I own two small businesses. Oh my gosh, Christy, that's awesome. Uh, that is such great experience that you could leverage and a thousand percent like Kaylee that I'm going to um, Jamaica with, she was a pharmacy technician and she was 23 years old when she started this. She had never even opened QuickBooks before. So I would say when we first launched the Bookkeeper Academy, the first couple of years, it was about 90% of people with zero experience in bookkeeping or accounting. And about 10% of people had either an accounting degree or some kind of bookkeeping background. Over the years, it's kind of shifted. We have about 30% of people in our program now that do have experience, they do have accounting backgrounds, and 70% of people are brand new to this field. And the reason it's shifted is because all of those people with experience, they have seen all of our students that didn't have experience just killing it, just going out there and creating the lifestyles that they've wanted, having these awesome businesses. And now these people with experience are thinking, what am I doing? I'm missing out on this. There's something I don't know. Let me get in the academy and replicate the success. If these people without experience can do it, why can't I? So um, it's kind of shifted a little bit over the years, but yes, our program is completely designed to help people with brand new beginners. Um, I just went live yesterday and do, I do a weekly wins live on my Facebook page every single Wednesday to share updates on wins. I have this one lady who I shared about her name is Amy and she's 11 months in business. She just uh, got a verbal confirmation for her 11th client, ironically, so one client per month. Um, and she used to be a therapist. So completely different field um, than than bookkeeping altogether. So bookkeeping is not like rocket science. 80% of it is data entry. And so it's easy, like as long as you, I mean, for what you do, you know, it's just data entry. And then the additional 20% is the stuff that we really help you hone and learn figuring out problems in QuickBooks, understanding how to read and prepare financial statements. Most of that's done with clicks of buttons, but it's nice for you to understand the report so you can explain them to your client. We teach you all of that though. We teach you all of that in the academy. Great question, Christy. I'm working and trying to listen at the same time. <laughs> yes, there will be a replay link sent out to you, Sharon. And again, you guys can hop on these calls multiple times if you want or need to. Uh, Jolene would love to make 20,000 on a 40 hour work week. It's doable, I'm telling you it's doable. I, I did it with five kids and homeschooling. And I didn't have a mentor. Yes, I had the background and I did have a little experience, but I didn't have a mentor for any of this. You guys are gonna have mentors, coaches, our team is available over 70 hours a week to help you. And we have a complete roadmap. We can tell you exactly what to do. Step one, step two, step three, step four. But I'll go over that later. 
Um, let's see. Gilda says, if you find it is not working for you, do you get a refund? No, we don't do refunds. We give you access to everything right away. So I want you guys to feel prepared. I want you to feel like this is the right choice. So if you have questions, if you need to come to these things multiple times, you're welcome to do that. So once you decide to invest, you're all in. We want you all in. We don't want you one foot in, one foot out the door. We want you to be fully in and ready to take action and ready to get results. Because that's the that's how we can really help people get results is if they are all in and they're ready to move forward. So if they have that looming thing, I'm going to get a refund if I choose not to do this thing. It just doesn't work. You got to be all in. You got to be ready to do it. But great question. Yes, Jamaica's gorgeous, Chelsea. Um, <laughs> I will send you the link, Jolene. Um, okay, great. So as you guys can see, this is really awesome with this chart, how much time you're going to save. But also if you are interested in working 20 hours a week, you can make $10,000 a month. If you want to work full time, you can make $20,000 a month. If you want to work more than that, you can make more than that. It's really cool. I'll show you a little bit too, how to leverage, make more than this without working more. That's coming up on a slide too. So if you guys want to take a quick picture of this, you're welcome to. Um, this is a recap of all the slides that I just went over, where it's like the time frame, how much you can get up to the reoccurring income, and then the number of hours it takes to do the bookkeeping work and the approximate number of clients you would need at each different stage. Yes, and don't worry, guys, I'm going to send you the replay link. Everybody's going to get the replay link. You guys are great. Okay, so uh, will the finance cover the classes and will you help us get a job? So we are going to teach you how to do all of this stuff. And then we're going to show you how to find clients. So this is way better than a job. This is your own business. So at this point in time, when you look at this chart, you think this is great, right? This is exactly what you guys are all looking, looking for, right? Well, this sounds too good to be true. How does this work? Does any, anyone feel like that? Put a, a hand raise or a yes in the chat. If you feel like, this doesn't, this doesn't make sense. How is this possible? How can I make this kind of money? Because if you break it down, it's like about $100 an hour, right? So how does that work? How are you able to do that with little to no experience and having your own business? Awesome. I love skeptical people. So let's go into this. I want to see what you guys think after the explanation here. So I'm going to go into how does this high money, low time business work? You hear negative stories about bookkeeping scams all the time. Do you mean like bookkeeping programs or do you mean like bookkeepers scamming clients? Okay. Well, I mean, there are other programs out there and they're different, right? So I don't know of any people. I know a lot of people that do stuff like this, but I don't know about scams. I will tell you guys though. These programs don't work if you don't do the work. So just paying to be in it is not going to get you results. You have to follow the roadmap. This is just like school. It's just like college. If you, well, it's the reverse of college. And I'll explain that in a minute because you can actually make money from day one instead of waiting till you graduate in our program, unlike college where you have to go through the whole thing and then try to find a job. But if you enrolled in college and you don't show up, you don't do the reading, you don't study for the tests, you're not going to get anything out of it, right? So this program is the same. Growing a business takes work. It takes putting yourself out there. It takes conquering your fear. It takes learning. It takes effort, but it does have all these payoffs. So you may feel like it's a scam if you don't do the work and then you don't get the results, but we're here to guide you. We're here to guide you and help you get the results, keep you on track, make sure you're setting that solid foundation because this business could be your retirement plan. It could be your ticket to retirement. I have a student who is specifically growing this business over the next five years so that she can sell it so that her and her husband can retire and go travel. So there is a lot of things you can do with this if you set them up right. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I'll keep going and see what you guys think. All right, so here are the main key pillars of what make these results possible. The first one is proper quoting. So obviously, this is a skill that you're going to need to learn about 
develop over time and understand basically how and what to charge your client. Because if you undercharge or you undervalue bookkeeping services in general, then you are going to be creating a lot of extra work for yourself. You're not going to get the time and financial freedom that you're looking for, and you're going to be overworked. So learning how to properly quote for bookkeeping services is a number one factor. And what we do, we do this based off of several things, the industry that the client is in, the size based on their annual revenue, and then um, their organization. Do they have five accounts or 50? Those types of things. And this is different for every client. So we really help you over time hone in on that skill. Sometimes it can take six plus months to really get that down and make sure you're quoting people correctly. We had a student recently named Sylvia who um, got a new client in a new industry she had never worked in before. And it was one that was a little bit more complicated than the other ones. It was a construction client. She came to one of our coaching calls and she's like, I'm thinking I'm going to charge him $500 a month. And our team was like, well, wait a minute, let's consider all of the different factors with this client. So we broke it down on one of our calls and we were like, I think it would be better if you quote them about a thousand. And so she was like, oh, I'm so nervous about that. I've never quoted anyone a thousand dollars yet. So she went back to her client. She quoted a thousand dollars based on our formula for quoting. We knew the client could afford it. And so the client actually didn't even bat an eye. He was like, okay, let's do it. Let's get this going. Let's get this cleaned up. I need these reports. And she came back and she's like, this is the biggest client that I have so far. And we basically, if you calculate that extra $500 over 12 months, that's $6,000 extra money that we helped her by helping her fine tune her quoting process. So quoting is the number one thing. She would have had six grand for that year less with that client. So um, understanding quoting and getting practice for that over time is really, really important. We want to make sure that you guys get that down. So that's the first thing is understanding how to quote. And we quote in fixed price packages that we know the clients can afford that makes it really easy for you guys to budget. And that money comes out of their account and into your account on the first of every single month. So it's very, very dependable. All right. The next thing is efficient workflow. So this is really important too, because if you don't know how to streamline your workflow, if you don't know how to do the work efficiently, you're going to drag it out, right? But if you do it in an efficient way, you know exactly how to handle the work, you know exactly how to cut out the busy work, and you know when to tell your client, hey, this isn't totally in the scope of what we agreed on. I'll be happy to do these extra things for you, but here's the new fee. So we really help with those kinds of things. So that way, when you're doing the work for your clients, you can calculate and track your hours. And then you divide that against your monthly fee. You will be making over $100 an hour in your business. And so those things coupled together, a fixed fee that's properly quoted and a workflow process that is done efficiently, those two things are what help you get to these goals and reach the results that I showed on the previous slides where you end up making $100 an hour. And um, let's see, you guys have a lot of questions in here. Before I show you the next thing, I want to just double check here. Um, yes, there you go, Megan. Exactly. Chelsea says, I remember when Tiffany started the program, it takes work. Yep. Three years ago, when I first joined the group, there weren't many people I didn't have the time or capabilities. I've recently started paying more attention to the group, but I've talked with people from before that were able to go through the program and it's not a scam. Thank you, Chelsea. Appreciate that. It's an investment of time and effort. Um, some people can't dedicate that and want to have a one-step answer. That's not this program. Yep, exactly. It does, does take, it does take your time and effort. Absolutely. Um, I've already completed bookkeeping training and passed the exam. I just need help with structuring my business, pricing, and getting clients. That's right, Kiana. That's right. And that's what we focus most on. You are definitely going to get support around learning the bookkeeping basics, but our program is also very heavily on the business aspect, the sales and marketing aspect, the quoting aspect, because we want you to build a solid foundation for your business, but with the end in mind. So this is another key pillar of how the bookkeeping business will help you reach your goals, why it's set up for you to make $100 an hour at a minimum, because we need you to build it with the end in mind. So you guys might be leaving some corporate jobs and things like that. 
And so you have to shift from employee mentality into business owner, CEO mentality. And in order to do that, you have to think of things about your business. But when you're new, you don't know to think about these things. You don't know to watch out for it. So one of the great things about our academy is we do know. We do know what you're going to want in one, two, three, four, ten 10 years with your business. So we're going to help you build the foundation of your business from day one with that end in mind. And there's two things that kind of go along with this. The first one is if ever in the future you decide to keep growing your business because you want to hire employees, we want to make sure that your business is not only profitable enough that you can pay your employees, but it needs to be profitable enough that you can pay yourself on top of it. So before you have employees, you get this like double whammy effect, which is why you're making over $100 an hour, right? But then once you hire employees, we still want you to have a profitable business because that's, you guys are all working for businesses, right? Corporate jobs, biz, they're all businesses. They all have to make money after they pay you. And it's the same thing in this business for you. You have to make money if you decide in the future you want to hire employees. There has to be profit there for that, right? So if you take a look at this chart again that I showed you, down at the bottom, if you hire somebody to work 40 hours a week for you, they can handle the client workload that totals $20,000 per month of income. But did you know that the going rate for a bookkeeper as a full-time employee for someone is less than $5,000 a month? Like it's usually closer to four, but for easy math purposes, we'll say $5,000 a month is what you're going to pay a bookkeeper to work full-time for you. They're going to do all the work for $20,000 a month. So that still leaves you $15,000 per month for every full-time bookkeeper that you have on your staff. And so that still allows you, even if you only want one employee, you can still bring in $15,000 a month of profit and your employee is going to be doing the majority of all of the bookkeeping work for all of your clients, which is awesome. So you're still going to have a very healthy profit margin and a monthly income for your family um, and be able to maintain that work-life balance you desire even as you start to exceed $20,000 a month if you want to leverage a team which is really cool. Um, let's see. There's some great questions in the, in the Q and a, I want to get to that after I finish this real quick. Um, but lastly, another really cool thing too, is at some point in time, like I mentioned with my student Lacey, you may decide at one day you want to sell your business. I sold my business in 2019 to start this bookkeeper Academy. And I got one times the revenue for my business. So for example, if you're making $200,000 a year in your bookkeeping business, you can sell it for $200,000. But if you keep it for three, four, five, ten 10 years, and you grow it large, Let's say you're making a million dollars a year. I have a friend who has a seven figure bookkeeping business and she was offered 2.2 million for hers. So it's really cool because if you set these businesses up the way we teach in the academy around quoting and workflow, then you're going to have the profit and you're going to have the, the ability to sell this company in the future, which is nice because it's like a retirement plan. So for those of you that are going to be quitting your corporate jobs, that maybe you have a 401k there, you can utilize your business, not only to continue to fund retirement, but then to sell it later as your retirement, which is really, really cool. These businesses are super attractive to um, potential investors because of the high profit margin, even after hiring full-time team members, the reoccurring revenue that comes in for these monthly bookkeeping clients. And then the fact that as you build a team, you don't actually have to work in the business. It takes some time to get there, but that's what's really attractive to investors um, for people to want to buy your business, which is really cool. Does anybody have any specific questions about how or why this works? And do you feel more confident in, okay, yeah, this makes sense why I can make $100 an hour. So type yes, if you feel more confident about this, type no, if you still have some like, how is this? This is too good to be true feelings. So yes, if you're like, okay, I totally get it now. Or no, if you still feel like it's too good to be true still. 
All right, lots of yeses. I love it. Great. I'm glad this is making sense to you guys because they're really, it really is like, I say science behind it, but it's really business. It's just business behind it. And we don't always understand that thought process of it when we are working as the employee, because it's not your job to think of it. But then if you shift into the business owner mindset, then you, you understand it. It makes sense. So I'm going to answer the questions in the chat. And then after that, we're going to talk about back work and cleanup opportunity. Um, Kareen, so this is all still the same for Canada. Obviously, you guys have a little slightly different exchange rate between U.S. and Canada, but still, it's the same. You can still charge these same prices, um, still set up the same workflow. You're going to use the same programs that we do. The businesses are very similar. And Canada, sometimes you can actually even charge extra because you have to figure GST and HST taxes for each of the provinces. So you can actually charge a little bit more for clients in Canada because of that. <laughs> Christy says, it makes sense, but it's hard for me to believe that I could do it. Christy, you already do it. You're already doing bookkeeping. You're already doing it. So if you're, if you're doing bookkeeping for a car dealership, you could literally make that your niche and you could like go out and find other car dealerships and, and do bookkeeping for them. Now we, especially for, you know, pe people like Christy or anyone else on here that's feeling like, you know, how do we do this? Don't forget, I'm going to show you how our Academy supports you. We literally hold hands and lock arms with you through every step of the way. So you're never alone in the process of doing this. So um, I'll show you all about that here soon. But in the Q&A, um, Jen says, how do you address the clients who want to know your background and qualifications for this role? That is such a great question. You guys would be really surprised, but 99% of the time, your client is not going to ask that unless you give them a reason to. So if you walk in there and you're like, I've never had a bookkeeping client before, you're going to be my first. They're going to start asking you, well, what's your background? What are your qualifications? But if you go in there confident and just start with the script, we're going to give you a script when you talk to a new client and you're just going to ask them a bunch of questions. If they do, however, ask you about that, we just encourage you to be honest, leverage some of the background that you know is going to help them. And, um, and then also let them know, Hey, I just launched my business. So there's probably going to be some times where you have questions for me and I'm not sure of those, but I belong to this really awesome network of experienced professionals that if there is a question, I may not be able to answer right off the bat, but I can usually get an answer within about 24 hours. And usually you get your answer in about 45 minutes in our Academy, but you can give yourself a buffer, but that's usually what we tell our students how to present that. If they do ask, most of the time they don't ask. Think about the last time you guys had like, let's say a pest control or an appliance repair person show up at your house to fix something. Did you grill them on where they went to school and what their background was? No, most people just take it for granted that when people show up, they're going to do the job that's being presented, right? So most people don't ask that, believe it or not, you would be surprised, but most people don't ask. But if you do get asked, we just always encourage you to, you know, leverage your qualifications, leverage your background that you do have, you know, talk about how you have the support and then, um, you know, be, be honest. So um, Kareen says, is it possible to hear testimonials from some of your Canadian students who have gone through the program? Yes, I do have, I do have some Canadian student testimonials. I'll dig those out. Um, sometimes I don't remember exactly who all was from Canada. So we can definitely do that, Kareen, if you want to also email me. Um, tax and business laws in Canada versus U.S. Of course, there are different tax laws. And our program does talk about basic tax information. You're going to learn ta basic tax information. But one thing that we do teach you is how to partner with local and regional tax professionals, because you're never going to know everything about taxes. It changes too much. And we show you how to create re relationships with local tax people so you can leverage those. Anytime your client has tax questions, you'll be able to um, leverage this partner so that they can help you answer those and, and help you support your clients when it comes to tax stuff, because that is um, a whole nother can of worms. But great question. Yes, it is exciting, Kareen. So exciting. Um, yes, and Naomi will get you. 
the recording. Um, Haley says, could this be a joint venture with someone? I have a friend who I think I could help tremendously with, with getting this starting up. Yes. Yeah, so when you start a business, I personally highly recommend you have your own LLC. Um, and if you do have a friend that you want to do this with, I would hire them as a contractor and not do like a, a joint venture or like partnership with someone that those things can get really hairy sometimes. And I've seen people go into partnerships and lose friendships over it. So it might be best to you start your business, hire your friend as a contractor and go from there. But yes, absolutely. Um, I actually had a student a while back. She homeschooled um, her four kids and had always homeschooled them. And then her husband got sick and he couldn't work. So she had to figure something out. And she ended up continuing to homeschool, grew her bookkeeping business, covered the basic necessities that they needed as a family since her husband couldn't work anymore. But then as she kept growing, she didn't want to work anymore because she wanted to continue homeschooling. So she hired her best friend to do all of the work for her business and paid her, you know, $15, $20 an hour to do that. So she got to support her best friend and give her friend a job where she was able to work from home. And then she still was able to bring in money to support her family and could also homeschool. So it's a really great opportunity. I've had a lot of students who have hired their family to work for them and things like that. So great question, Haley. I love that. Yes. Um, let's see. How long would you have access to the team's advice? So we do a minimum of 12 months in our academy to get started. And that gives you guys plenty of time to be able to experience a lot of different clients, a lot of different industries, a lot of different situations when it comes to all the aspects of your business. So it's a minimum of 12 months. When you enroll, that's the, the first term. But we have a lot of students that have been in our program for two, three, and four years like Kaylee. They just love the, they love having um, the advice. They love being able to just ask questions anytime something comes up. And so it's really nice to have that. I've almost never had any student tell me that their clients have asked for references. Almost never. I'm not exaggerating. Um, Nikesha says, this is all I need to give me the confidence. I'm so ready to work for myself. Yay. Congratulations. Does the funding cover the LLC as well? We actually have a funding partner that will open up your LLC for you. So you can book a free call with them. They will try to get you to upgrade into their, um, a couple other services that they do have, which you can choose to, if you want, but they, I believe they set up your LLC for free. Um, However, you do have to pay the state filing fees. So if you're in Missouri, that's like 50 bucks. If you're in Texas, that's like 300. If you're in California, it's like 800. So you would have to pay those. The funding, if you get approved through traditional routes with our lender, because you have good credit, you can get extra and they will pay that to you. If you go into our guaranteed funding bucket though, you're not able to pull any extra out. So you would have to be able to, um, have enough money somewhere to cover the first couple of payments, but also a little bit of cash to set up your LLC, get your email address, buy yourself a laptop if you don't have one, those kinds of things. Um, Megan says, I've actually just received my LLC. Yay. Oh, thanks to the Prime Corp video. Great. Yes, Prime Corp. Megan, um, I don't know if you upgraded to any of their additional services, but tell me, I think they get they set up your LLC for free. Is that correct? Because I think it's changed a few times, so I don't know. Um, Elena says I have a business as a sole proprietorship. Is it better to change it to LLC first? And then after that, start the program. You don't have to set up your LLC first to join the program. You could do that first and then set up your LLC. If you have the sole proprietorship, you can keep it that for a while. We do recommend though, at some point to change to an LLC, number one for liability protection, but also number two, these bookkeeping businesses are so profitable that probably within the first year to maybe 18 months, you might want to be taxed as an S corp and you can't do that unless you're an LLC. But if you're taxed as an S corp, you can save a lot on taxes. And like I said, since these businesses become profitable so quickly, um, it's just nice to go ahead and have your LLC there. Let's see. Yours wasn't free. No, I, I'm not sure exactly what they charge. And maybe some of the fees that you got, Megan, were for the state filing fee. So feel free to email me um, and let me know what you paid and I can look into it. 
<clears throat> but I, I don't know. I, they've gone back and forth, but I think the actual filing of the paperwork they do for free, but then you do have to pay the state fees. Like I said, they could range anywhere from 50 to $800, just depending on where you live. Okay. So one thing we haven't even talked about yet is how much money you guys can make with cleanup work. So this is something that's really cool. I love to talk about this because nine times out of 10, when you get a new client, they have not done their bookkeeping for months or sometimes even years in the past. And that's why they are looking for bookkeeping services. So it's another income opportunity that you have. It's harder to predict because every client is different with you know how big they are, but also how many months or how many years they might be behind in their bookkeeping. So it's not included on that first slide, but it's another really cool opportunity for you guys to make a lot more money and be able to knock off some of your bucket list items or accomplish some of your goals faster when you get a client that needs to be caught up and they need back work completed. So I'm going to give you guys some examples of some recent students that have gotten some back work. So the first one here is Kim. She joined our academy last October. So she's coming up on one year in business. She landed her first client about six weeks after starting our bookkeeper academy and launching her business. This client, like I mentioned earlier, was a little bit of a larger company. So she was able to charge almost $2,200 per month for the ongoing monthly services. But once we started helping her, with this client, we helped her realize that the previous bookkeeper actually didn't do some of the bookkeeping correctly for that year. So we helped her formulate a cleanup quote and she went back to her client and proposed a $9,000 cleanup fee so she could go back and redo kind of what the previous bookkeeper did. So on December 16th, which was about two months after joining, she actually made $11,000 in her bookkeeping business. So month two, she made 11,000. So if that were you guys, you could put a lot of that in your savings to cover your future you know, monthly commitments, quit your job, focus all that extra time on marketing and get another cleanup job in the next month or the next week um, and just keep repeating that process. So you can really expedite paying off debt, reaching your goals um, when you get cleanup jobs like this. Yes, you will be automatically emailed the replay of this webinar. Absolutely. So then we also have Alicia here. She joined our academy on November 18th, just shortly after Kim did. She spent about three weeks getting her business set up and ready to go. I know her and her family were like even moving during this time. So it was kind of chaotic for her. But then on December 15th, she was ready to go for marketing. So it took her about a month to get things set up and going just based on her life circumstances. But the second she started marketing, launched her marketing plan that, you know, we help you guys develop those. Four days, four days after she started marketing, she got her first client. And this client was kind of a medium-sized one, so a little bit smaller than Kim's, but bigger than our average. And so she was able to charge $1,500 a month for this client, but they were behind two years in their bookkeeping. And due to the, the industry and stuff that this client was in, the cleanup job was a little bit smaller, but she got to charge $6,000 for them to clean up the previous two years of bookkeeping. So before her first month was even over in the academy, Alicia got $7,500. So, you know, what would you guys do with that? If you got, you know, $11,000 in the um, program within your first couple months or $7,500 in your first month, what would your plans be? Would you put that in savings and then go ahead and quit your job and then focus fully on this? Would you feel like you would have confidence to do that if you see that money coming in that you could then keep replicating it? Yes, Danielle, you will get lifetime access to the course um, in all of our content in our Bookkeeping Course Plus program. So let's say you join the Academy for 12 months. After the 12 months, if you decide not to renew, then you still get lifetime access to the coursework just not our live calls, recorded calls, or any of our support, but you will get access to the coursework. Great question. Let's see. Um, for, if you don't have money for the guaranteed lender program for at least for the next few months, 
Um, my suggestion would be to work the next couple of months on figuring out how you can secure at least the first two to three payments just as a cushion for you, just so you don't have to stress. And then the second you have that available, pop in and get going. So um, Ngozi, if you have a potential first cleanup client, um, then I, what I would say, try to get that client to secure. I mean, if you need 640 times three, that's 1920. See if you can charge this client $1,800 or $1,900 or $2,000 at a minimum for the cleanup work. Use that money, collect it first. You guys always need to collect money first and then do the work. And this is one thing we teach you in the academy. Have that person collect it, then immediately apply for funding. Because like I said, this whole process takes like 24 hours, um, business hours. So if you apply like today, book your call with the lender, deposit your first payment, you can be in the academy by this evening, first thing tomorrow morning and start getting help with this client. So that's what I would suggest doing, especially if you have a lead, see if you can get them to commit, see if you can get them to pay you, take the payment, however, take it through PayPal, take it through Zelle, take it through the cash app, doesn't really matter. As long as you got it, we can show you how to get, get that into your books and record it correctly later. And that's what I would suggest. Great question. Um, I live in a small city. How would I make that kind of money with clients? Great question. This is all virtual. So you don't have to get local clients. You can get clients anywhere. And I'll show you exactly how we show you how to do marketing and find clients here in a couple minutes. Um, yeah. So, yep. Great question. I mean, these people are not going to have met you in person and you're going to have to do discovery calls with them, but you're going to have a script. You're going to know exactly what to say and exactly what to ask. So that way we can help you with the quote and then we'll show you how to present the quote so they have confidence in you. But it is about personal connection. People want to do business with people that they know, like, and trust. So you're going to be building relationships with people. It's really as simple as that, getting to know other business owners and building relationships. But, you know, our students do um, cold email campaigns all the time and pick up clients that way. So... Um, it really hasn't been a problem at all virtually getting clients that way. So, okay, I showed you about Kim and Alicia and their cleanup jobs. And these are like pretty typical. We see a lot of our students getting cleanup jobs anywhere from like $1,500 a month up to $10,000, not a month, $1,500 up to $10,000 one-time cleanup fees a lot from our clients. I want to show you guys though a really cool one that was really big just so you guys can understand the opportunity out there. This next one isn't quite as common, but I just want to show you that it's possible. What's possible with your business? So this is Jennifer. She's the one where I posted the podcast link here in the chat. And she started the Academy on August 22nd, so a little over a year ago. And then right when she was about four months into the program, she found a client. It was a little bit larger, $2,200 a month for reoccurring monthly income. But they were behind so much that she was able to charge $32,000 cleanup fee to this client. So I calculated this up the last time I was on one of these webinars. And if she only had this client, she's going to make $58,000 this year just on that one client in, in a year's time span, which is really insane and really cool. And it's a $2,200 a month client. So she's really only working like four or five hours a week on this client, which is awesome. So if you guys want to watch the podcast, she talks about how she broke this down for them. She didn't have them pay or they couldn't pay the whole thing in one month. Um, so even though she earned $34,000 in her fourth month, she did break that payment up over the next like four to five months. And, but she did receive all of it. She got it all. And we helped her with the cleanup job. We helped her break it out into manageable steps. So just, you know, what would you guys do if you got a client that you were able to get $32,000 from? What is the first thing you would do with that money? Type that in the chat. I would love to know, would you go on vacation? Would you just like, buy a really nice house? Would you just put it in savings? I don't know. Let me know. But here's a recap too of um, the slide of what these ladies got. Like I mentioned that um, we helped them, you know, figure out and handle all the steps leading up to getting paid, but also all the steps that come after they get these clients. 
So Sharon would save and pay off bills. Karen would definitely pay off bills. I love it. Yeah, it's nice to have a big chunk of money like that where you can actually do some damage to any of that debt. You can really knock it, knock it off, you know? So here's a list of things that we have been helping these students with. And this is what we would help you with in the academy. We help them understand how to conduct a new client discovery call. So if you get somebody that's interested in bookkeeping, we show you exactly how to ask all the right questions. So that way we can help you put together a proper quote because you're not going to know how to do that at first, right? And then we're going to show you how to structure a proposal and be able to present that to the client in a way in which they're going to say yes, understand the value of what you're providing and want to sign up for your services. So that's one of the things we really help. And then once they have the clients, the clients say yes, we show them and we show you how to understand how to efficiently onboard the new clients so that you get access to everything that you need in order to do the bookkeeping work. And then we show you how to break down the bookkeeping work, the cleanup jobs into manageable step-by-step -step process. We help you how understand how to actually do all of the cleanup work in the accounting software. And then we help you understand how to do the ongoing monthly work. So that way you can make a minimum of $100 per hour doing this work. And um, we walk you through all of that through our support, through our coaching, through our um, office hours and our ticketing system, everything. We help you learn all of these things. But also, most importantly, we help you find these clients as well. And obviously, that is called marketing, right? Um, Paulette said she would upgrade her home office in both countries and travel and have a savings Danielle says, do quotes change with the economy and will we be taught how to adjust with the economy? Uh, yes, for sure. I mean, there's always room when <laughs> the great thing too, what I've shown you guys on this chart, that's the starting point. That's the bare minimum that you will, will charge. So there's room for growth here. A lot of our students and a lot of our coaches will actually have you charge more than what I'm sharing with on here because I like to be super conservative. I want to under promise and over deliver the results that you're gonna have. So um, you're actually probably gonna charge a little bit more, especially now. And also this becomes kind of like a personal preference as well. Over time, you're going to understand, okay, this is this much, much money and it's this much work. And now I know I want to charge a little bit more for these things because you can and it's worth it and it's worth your time. So over time, you will tweak and modify your quoting to fit your own personal preferences and your own personal style. But yes, there's a lot of wiggle room to charge you know, a lot more than even what we show here. So great question. Kareen would pay off bills and take a vacation. So um, typically our students, usually we recommend that they spend about an hour a day on their marketing. If you can do more in the beginning, that's great because you'll just get traction a little bit quicker. And what we see is as students start to take on their first few clients, just because they are, you know, short on time, sometimes they'll push marketing to the, to the back seat while they're getting their first few clients squared away. But if you can stay consistent with marketing, what happens is we call it the snowball effect and you actually end up, you know, um, building that momentum and then clients really start consistently rolling in as long as you're consistent with your marketing. But there are three main marketing methods that we teach our students. And all three of these methods have been proven over the last four years to take our students from zero to $100,000 per year in their business, uh, usually within the first 12 months, sometimes even before. Uh, so but we give you guys the opportunity to choose. So you don't have to do all three if there's like maybe one of them or two of them that you're just like, eh, I'm not comfortable with that. You don't have to do that. If you choose to do them all, then you're just gonna reach your goals faster. So, but we do give you guys options and all three options can get you to the goals that we show, that I showed earlier. Uh, Sharon says, is this really real? Like we're not going to get started and then we're not going to be able to reach anyone. It will only say contact support. That just happens so much. And I've taken many courses. Ah, yes, I will show you exactly how we keep everything accountable for our support. So it is really real. 
And I actually, we grade all of our coaches and we grade all of our response times and all that jazz. Like we have a less than 45 minute response time on every question that's posted in our group or every question that's asked. So I'll, I'll show you guys about that here in just a second. Pretty proud of that. Okay, so first thing is social media marketing. Um, we teach this, it's organic, it's free, it doesn't cost anything. Um, and you, we help you utilize the platforms that you're already familiar with. So maybe it's Facebook, maybe it's LinkedIn, maybe it's Instagram. And we show you how to post content that actually gets business owners interested in reaching out to you. You can cold message people. It works really well, but it's not a requirement. We do show you how to post things that attracts business owners. And then of course, how to grow your friends list with potential clients. So that's one thing that we work on. Again, doesn't cost anything. It is one of the most effective strategies, but I know at first sometimes students are a little apprehensive about using social media for their business, but it is like the easiest and quickest um, way and free way to get clients. Um, when Kim got that $9,000 cleanup job, she got that because she posted about her business on Facebook. One of her friends from high school saw it and knew of another company that was looking for a bookkeeper and they, and she connected them. So it's amazing how it can grow like wildfire. If you are letting people know that you're doing this and then you're influencing their circles and, and getting to know other people. Alicia posted a while back, the one that got um, the $6,000 cleanup job. She posted a while back that she had been posting on her Facebook so much that people in her local groups, her local Facebook groups, like the marketplace and just like, you know, the mom groups there and stuff like that. If anyone asked about a bookkeeper referral, she was getting tagged by like multiple people. And oddly enough, her ex-husband was looking for a bookkeeper and a whole bunch of people tagged her. So he ended up calling her and inquiring about bookkeeping services. And it was her ex-husband, which is super funny. But, um, you know, it really happens. Other people end up doing your marketing for you when they know, when they know what you do. So social media can be really, really great for that. And we show you how to really leverage it. So the second marketing thing, that's the first one. The second one is networking groups. So um, these work really well if you have any in person, but there are some that are also online as well. And these are great because what we help you do is find a group that's full of business owners that doesn't have a bookkeeper yet. And then we have you join those groups and we help you create a strategy around attending these groups and connecting with the other uh, members of the group. So they actually become uh, little marketing people for you as well. And then a lot of times the other members of the group will refer people to you and they will refer their clients to you for bookkeeping. So it's kind of like having other people doing your marketing for you, very similar to Facebook. Um, these groups are really, really great. I really enjoyed this group. Um, it's nice because if you're an introvert, they're really super small and it's got like this like really family feel, like one-on-one -on -one feel, and it can really be... Um, a great thing for you to connect with other business owners without feeling like you have to be, you know, in this big giant group. So this turned into like a second little family for me. And I really looked forward to going each week, especially as you start working from home, it's kind of nice to have a little outing sometime. Um, once you quit your job, you may want to get out of the house on occasion. So it's really nice to be able to do that. These do have a cost though. There's usually some type of investment um, anywhere from like 500 to $800 for the year, but I made $60,000 from my first year of being in my referral group. Those are the clients that came out of my referral group. So it's really, really, um, profitable. And we highly recommend people do those. All right. The last thing that we teach is kind of a twofer. So this is a uh, email marketing. We teach you how to find a large list of business owners and also a large list of tax professionals. And then we help you deploy two different email campaigns. And the business owners, obviously the goal is to get them to respond back, inquire about bookkeeping services and maybe book a call with you. But the tax offices, this is to generate referral arrangements with tax people. So I don't know if you guys know this, but when you do bookkeeping, 
or when you have a business, every business has to have bookkeeping in order to get their taxes done. You can't get your taxes done if you if your bookkeeping isn't done. And a lot of tax people either don't like to do bookkeeping or they don't have time for it, but they can't do the tax work for their clients unless the bookkeeping is done. So tax people, a lot of times will have bookkeepers that they partner with that they say, hey, I've got this client. I need to get their tax return done. Can you do their bookkeeping? And they refer the clients out. For example, Kaylee, that's going to Jamaica with me here in the next couple of weeks, she hasn't done any marketing for like two years because she has several tax partner relationships and the tax partner does a lot of marketing, gets a lot of new clients, and he pushes all the bookkeeping work to her. So it's fantastic because if you get that set up, you could literally continue to grow your business month after month after month and not even have to do marketing. So we help you get those things set up and going so that way you've got clients coming in all the time with very little effort. It's It works so well for lots of our students. This can be a completely free way to get clients as well. Um, it takes some time to gather the list if you're going to do it manually, but we do have some programs that you can use that have a small fee, like 25 bucks, 50 bucks, um, where you can download lists and, and mass email people, which is really great. So it's, it's an awesome method. So out of those three methods, Let's say um, social media is number one, networking is number two, and email marketing is number three. Drop the number in the chat of the methods that you think you would start with. Paulette says, I'd love to get my QuickBooks certification as pro advisor clients will come to me. Do you think this would be a good way to start? Um, yes, so I do think your pro advisor certification is something that you should get over time only because when you have a pro advisor listing, on into its website, you will potentially get clients from that. But what I've seen is like students will get clients like randomly, maybe one, two a year. So I always say it's a really good thing to do, but maybe, you know, depending on your goals might not be the best first thing to start with. But um, I definitely think it's a good thing to do. Christy said, we had a CPA that we used with our small business. I have thought about reaching out to him. hundred percent. You should definitely do that, Christy, because he may already have a handful of clients to send to you. And if you join our academy, we can help you with knowing exactly how to do that finished product. product. So what I see a lot of times for um, bookkeepers that work for companies, they understand how to do like the daily bookkeeping, but not always understand how to close the books each month and how, what to look for if there's errors in the financial statements. So we could provide a lot of value for you in that, that respect as well to Christy and be able to help you look like a rock star to your CPA, because when he gives you clients, then you can come to us, get them done really, really well, present them back to the CPA and totally impress him. We had a student named Ashley a few years ago. She was a teacher, um, elementary school teacher, and she wanted to quit that job because she wanted to spend time with her kids and she had her second baby and all that jazz. And she partnered with a tax person and um, she did the bookkeeping work for their clients. And he wrote her an email. I still have it somewhere. And it says, um, that they are so impressed with her work. They really value their relationship and they love that they know that their clients are in good hands when they refer people to her. And Ashley was a teacher and not even a math teacher. So it's like she, you know, learned exactly what she needed to learn to be able to do such a good job that she was able to impress the CPA partner that she was working with, which is really, really cool. Kiana says, number three, email marketing. Awesome. Karen said, I would like to start with networking and social media. Lona would do social media. Um, Alina, I would like to apply for the loan. How is that possible to pay for the program partially and directly to you? Yes, I'll get you guys that link. Let me just pop it in real quick. I've got more stuff to show you guys, but I know a lot of you guys are excited. So let me just show you a little bit about the funding right now. So don't apply for this unless you're ready to go. Um, but if you're ready to go apply for this, um, if you have decent credit, they will take you through the normal um, lending process. You'll know within, it takes five minutes to apply guys, soft credit pull, and you'll know within about a couple hours, I think it says. Um, yeah, within a couple hours, you'll know if you're pre-approved. 
If you have not so great credit, you're gonna immediately go into our guaranteed approval process. So you'll know within a few hours of applying if you are eligible for the guaranteed approval process. And then from there, you'll be able to book your call with the lender. When you book your call with the lender, you wanna make sure you have your first payment ready. So have that 640 ready to go in your account because they will be able to onboard you. You can sign the documents, submit your payment, and then they will notify us that you're ready to be onboarded into our program. And this all happens so fast. So if you guys want to get started today, just go ahead and click this link and you can go ahead and get through the process. And again, it only takes five minutes to apply. So if you guys even want to do that while I'm finishing up the webinar, you're welcome to do that as well. And then of course, if you go through regular funding because you have decent credit, you are able to um, get either the full 12, make sure you guys are applying for 12,000 as well. 12,000 is the application fee. If you're in Canada, there's a different link. So please let me know. This is for US people. Apply for 12,000 and that way it'll get you going through there perfectly without any hiccups. You guys are also welcome to you know, pay us directly. We take a minimum of $3,000 down to get started and we'll break the rest out onto payments. So if any of you guys would rather just get started with that, let me know and we can just get you an invoice ASAP. Um, Karen says, I don't have an email list, but if the program would help with that, I would be willing to do it. Yes, we show you how to get a list of clients. So we know you're not going to have a list of potential clients. We show you how to do that too. And guys, the thing with marketing is I give referrals to my students all the time, but I want you guys to understand how to do marketing, because if you learn how to do all of this stuff, you will forever for the rest of your life, be able to control the amount of money that you have for your family. So it's really important to me for you guys to understand how to do this and get good at it, because it is the number one thing that gives you control in your life. So um, we teach you how to do all of it. We teach you how to build a big email list and being able to reach out to them and help you turn those those leads into paying clients. So absolutely. Paulette says, thank you. I thought it would be much more clients. Back to the drawing board. Let's see. I'm not sure what you mean there, Paulette. Um, Christy said, that's fantastic. I'll try all three marketing options. Yes, I love it. Oh, with the pro advisor. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely get clients with your pro advisor listing, but it's not gonna be the end all be all. You might get one or two. Um, but I've, I've really re rarely seen students who make that their primary marketing method. <laughs> Nakisha is going to do all three. So there's the funding link. Apply for the 12,000. Takes five, five minutes to do it. Kareen says, thanks so much. I have to go. Definitely interested in learning more. Awesome. I will send it out and see you on Saturday, Kareen. Um, what if you want to see if you are approved but don't have the 640 right now? How long is your application good for? If you don't have it right this second, just hold off on applying um, because you will get approved. Everyone gets approved. Uh, so if you if you need a couple of days, Nikesha, to get that 640 together, I would just work on that and then um, then you can apply because it'll all happen really quickly. And the lenders like to move fast. They don't like to have a lot of like pending applications out there. So I would just say, get that 640 together and then apply right away. Cause then you can just like streamline it all kind of like Crystal did and just get in there really quickly. Um, Kaylee says, this is a great question. I'm worried about posting on social media and my job feeling hurt by me doing this on the side. I feel like maybe I'm just over worrying. Have you had other students with this fear? Yes, absolutely. Um, so if you are, if you are um, wanting to start this, but you have a job that might be like wondering about it, there's a couple things you can do. Number one, if it's in this, a similar industry where like I had a student, her name's Dresden. Actually, her podcast is going to be released on Sunday. So you guys should subscribe to my YouTube channel. So that way um, you can see her podcast interview. But Dresden worked for a CPA firm. And so basically when she started her business, she was going to be offering competing services to the to these people. 
And so um, I'm not sure if she told them right away or if they ended up just figuring it out. But what ended up happening is she told the CPA firm, hey, I'm I'm starting this up. My goal is to leave, but I don't want to leave you guys high and dry. And so what ended up happening is they like actually just let her work part time there for a while. And um, she slowly transitioned out of the job. So sometimes it's scary to have those conversations with your job, with your boss, but oftentimes just being having good communication will be the best thing that you can do. And you might be surprised by what they say. Um, now, um, that's totally a personal preference if you want to bring it up. But a lot of times, you know, you can do whatever you want to do outside of your normal working hours. If you're getting your work done and it's not a violation of any of your employment terms to have a side hustle or have another business going, then there shouldn't be anything wrong with it. So those are the things that my suggestions is to kind of, you know, think of those things. And it just depends on what your job is, you know, the what, how, what your boss is like, if there's any terms to your um, employment, things like that. But uh, most of the time when students have that fear, they end up going and talking to their boss based on my mm -hmm. advice. And they usually end up um, getting um, a better response than they thought. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Christy says, but would getting your QuickBooks certification help get clients? I feel the same about my current employer. Um, getting your QuickBooks Pro Advisor certification can help you with confidence. It can also help you with being able to present yourself as, you know, someone that has like QuickBooks experience and the certification can, um, you know, give you some clout, I guess. And you can also get clients with your QuickBooks Pro Advisor certification when you fill out the profile on Intuit's website. However, it's not a requirement for success. And you can get clients without it. And it also isn't like a primary way that you will get clients. So I think it's something that's good to do, but I always suggest that client, that students like start marketing and other paths first, get some traction, get some wins, and then focus on that. Cause it does take some time to do your pro advisor. So great question though. Let's see. Okay. So this is usually where I kind of talk about the support. So for those of you that are like, okay, all of this is great. All of these results, this business, the way that it's set up, this really looks cool. I really want to do this, but I don't have any experience or I'm not sure exactly, you know, what would I do if something came up? So here's all like the details of like, how are we going to support you to help you get these results? So are you guys ready for me to dive into that? put a thumbs up or your favorite emoji in the chat. All right. Thank you, Kalani. Thanks, Benita. Thanks, Paulette. Okay. So the first thing that um, we do is you'll get it, you'll get access to our private members only community. And it is a Facebook group and there's about 200 students in there. Uh, some of them are from their first year, and some of them have been in there two, three, four years in our program. Um, Kaylee Douglas, who's going to Jamaica with me in a couple weeks, she's still in the group. Um, she comes on the Zoom calls every now and then. So it's really nice because you get this big community of people that are building these businesses right alongside you, but you also get to leverage the experience and collaborate with people that have been doing this for the last few years as well and learn from their expertise and learn what worked for them and their tips and tricks also, which is really great. But having a supportive community when you're doing this business is really, really valuable. We also have about eight to 10 different people from our team, mentors, coaches, team members. They're all either experts in growing a business running a business or and or doing bookkeeping, and you're gonna have access to all of those people, which is really awesome. But the cool thing about this Facebook group is that we don't treat it like a Facebook group, we treat it like a ticketing system. So every time you have a question, you post it into the group and basically submit it to our team. We answer every single question. And these questions can be related to any topic that you can think of. Some examples would be like, sales question, marketing, quoting, QuickBooks online, technical questions, technical bookkeeping, tax questions, uh, workflow, efficiency, mindset, really anything you can think of that relates to 
you and growing a business, juggling that with your family, we help with all of those things. We answer questions six days a week. So Sundays are kind of our down day. But even if you post a question on Sunday, we will answer it Monday morning. First thing, we answer questions 12 hours a day. Um, with the exception of Friday evening, most people don't post on Friday evening, but during the time frame, we have a 45 minute or less response time, um, required my team to do it in 60 to 90 minutes, but most of the time it's under 45 minutes because they're awesome. And, um, any questions out asked outside of the you know, 12 hour time frame? let's say, you know, you're working at 10 PM at night or whatever, you can post questions. We answer them first thing at the beginning of the next shift. The awesome thing about this for you is that every single time you have a question, you know you're going to get a super quick answer. And sometimes that's what you need to be able to get back to your client or to um, keep yourself from being stuck on any particular spot. You want to be able to get, get your answers, move on to the next thing, achieve your goals. So that's what we're here for, to help you get your business going, the foundation built, get some results, and, and do that in the most quick and streamlined fashion as possible. So you can use that extra time with your family or growing your business. So here's an example of like the metrics that I track in our program so you guys can kind of get an idea, but like here, this was one week, we had 578, you can see in the bottom left corner, um, questions that were asked, we call them tickets. And within um, the first response from our team, 71% of those were fully answered with the first response, which the response time for this particular week was 42 minutes. The other 29% of those questions, they needed clarification. So my team needed to ask you guys an extra question to kind of get to the bottom of what it is you're really asking or looking for so we can make sure we fully answer your question appropriately. So sometimes that takes a little bit of back and forth, but all the 578 questions were completely resolved in 65 minutes or less, which is really awesome because you can't even Google answers that quickly. So it's really nice to be able to have somebody to help you tell you exactly what you need to know. Danielle says, is the 12K loan the course alone or is there room for a device purchased and LLC coverage or do we calculate that in if we need to? So um, you can try to apply for a little bit more, Danielle, but if you go through our guaranteed funding process, they won't be able to give you extra. So um, you might not be able to get extra for your LLC or, you know, um, a computer or anything like that just totally depends on your credit. Do you happen to have, um, you know, uh, maybe like a credit card or something like that you could use for those additional purchases just in case? Um, Karen says, I have to drop for a work meeting. No problem. We will send you the replay. So in addition to answering all of your questions in these super fast response and resolution times that we have for our team, we also have Zoom calls every single week. Um, there's about seven or eight different Zoom calls. The times change a little bit depending on the seasons because it gets busy and not busy at different times during the year. So uh, right now we actually have Zoom calls a Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. and actually Wednesday at 7 p.m. And then we have a Friday afternoon call as well that's not listed on here, but they last anywhere from 60 to 120 minutes, just depending on how many people are on, how many questions are asked. Like this webinar, I stay on until everybody um, has been able to ask all of their questions and, and then... Um, get your, you know, get the information that you need. So these calls are really great to be able to talk through some questions, get some advice on your marketing, get some advice on doing the work for, for your clients, things like that. So what we usually see is students hop on there and they kind of listen in the background the first couple of times. There's a lot of gold nuggets on these calls. You're going to learn a ton as you attend them. And then over time, as you get more confident, you get more used to the program and you start having questions of your own as you're making your way through your setup of your business, then you'll have questions and you can either post them in, in the chat like you're doing here, or you can even um, unmute and ask your question that way. Awesome. Congratulations, Melinda. She already filled out the credit app. Congratulations. I'm excited for you. 
So you also, in addition to everything that I've shown you, we have a client success director, and this person is going to support you to your goals. Like I mentioned earlier, everybody has different goals when they join. Some of you want to make $3,000 a month. Some of you want to make 20. That's a huge difference, right? So we're going to help you stay accountable to your individual goals, keep you at the pace that you want to go, but we're going to push you so that you reach those goals. And we're going to check in with you, give you actionable steps, help you understand exactly what you need to work on, exactly exactly what you need to focus on to be able to reach your goals. So you can chat with our client sex success director one-on-one, -on -one, uh, mostly over email is how she, she does that. So you always know where to go to find things. She's really great when it comes to coursework too. You guys are going to have access to a ton of information when you first get started. And sometimes it can be overwhelming. And the thought of watching all of it, it's just, it's not going to be the best use of your time. We want you to start with marketing. And then as you come across questions, use the coursework to fill in the gaps of your knowledge as, as it is needed. And so our client success director can actually help you with that. Hey, don't watch this video right now. You should watch this one. Um, those kinds of things. So that's really helpful, but you'll have access to this coursework and um, most of it for lifetime as well. Nakisha says, um, I just want to make sure I understand once you pay the 640, is that the monthly fee every month or the monthly fee varies? Great question. So the $640 is the monthly fee. It's based on a 24 month term. So if you pay 640 a month for 24 months, you're going to have some interest on it no big deal. You're still going to have a huge return on investment. So it's, it's minute in the grand scheme of things, but you can pay it off early. And if you pay it off early, it's interest-free in the first 12 months, but they lock it in at those really low $640 monthly payments spaced out over 24 months. So it won't vary. It'll stay at that, but you are more than welcome to pay it off early as you get cleanup jobs and stuff like that. If you want to avoid having the interest. So that's totally up to you. What we typically see, if you guys are interested in the um, journey of our students, this is kind of what we normally see. The first couple of weeks is going to be a little bit of learning and setup, just kind of like, you know, Kim and Alicia did. Um, it took them about two, four weeks, just depending on their personal situations to get everything set up um, in their back office. So they're like physically ready for clients. Then they kind of learned the basics, the basics of bookkeeping, the basics of business ownership. You're going to learn exactly how to provide amazing service to your clients, not all the intricate details, but the overall view of what does that look like when you're providing bookkeeping services. And then you can communicate intelligently with a potential client because you know enough about bookkeeping at that point to be able to talk to clients about it. And then you'll also have the script and be able to understand how to conduct a discovery call when you have a client that is interested. And then about week three and four, this is where you start to develop your marketing plan, decide exactly what you want to do, work with my client success uh, director to get that marketing plan fine-tuned and then start executing it. And then over those first few weeks, you're going to get feedback from the team, come to the calls, ask questions about your marketing. Hey, should I change this or tweak this? What do you guys think about this? So we're going to help you with that marketing plan. And then from there, usually by month two is when you're going to start enrolling your first few clients. And then this is where the learning really kicks in. We help you with those cleanup jobs. We help you understand how to onboard and do the work for your clients. And we even review the financial statements that you prepare for all of your first clients. So that way you feel really confident in the work that you're putting out there. And so um, you can make you can get clients in month two. You can also be like Crystal and, and get clients in day on day two. So it really varies from person to person, just depending on how quickly you get your stuff set up and you get marketing going. But this is on average what we typically see is they start enrolling their first couple of clients in month two. And then month three through 12 is basically just <clears throat> becoming an expert in all of this continuing with your marketing plan, continuing to tweak it and fine tune it for you. So that way you keep getting new clients and you keep getting different industries that you get to work with and learn from all the different types of clients that you can work with so that you never really have to tell anyone no if you don't want to. 
over time, you're going to become an expert bookkeeper. And then this is going to actually help you set the foundation for this bookkeeping business that's going to give you the financial location and time freedom that you guys are all looking for. So with that, what last questions do you guys have? That was a lot of information and you guys are awesome and stuck around on here this whole time to hear all of that. So what other questions? Yeah, Lona, what's your question about the UK? Yes, I had a UK coach before, but I will tell you like, um, we usually only have like one out of a hundred people from the UK, like requesting to join the program. So it just didn't make sense for us, but I can arrange something if you guys are interested in joining, especially if, you know, several of you want to join at once. She's still on, on hold for me and I can bring her back in anytime. Um, do you know if there are regulations regarding bookkeepers? So qualifications and regulations, there are none if you're in the US, Canada, or really anywhere except for New Zealand and Australia. If you live in New Zealand or you live in Australia, there are several qualifications that you have to complete before you can do bookkeeping. Nowhere else requires that. The only other requirement in the UK is that you have to take a money laundering course um, and get that little certification. I think it's only like a couple hundred bucks and it you can do it in a day or two. That's all in our UK course. So we'll walk you through what you need to know about that. But that's the only real requirement in the UK is that you have to do this money laundering course. But in the US and Canada, there's no requirements to be a bookkeeper. Anyone can be a bookkeeper. And anyone can be a tax professional too, if you believe that. Uh, Haley says, is there a do-it-yourself option so that we can get ourselves started? I know a pretty good bit about what I need to do, but I would still want the guidance. My idea was to get a couple clients and then join the academy for further help. Yes, we do have several options for DIY stuff. We have a basic bookkeeping course. We have a bookkeeping course plus program. Um, the problem though, I will just say with coursework is most of the time, the reason that people don't have success is because they don't have account accountability and they don't have support. So I have had a lot of students I actually had a, a girl attend a couple of weeks ago who um, bought our course back in 2020 and she struggled to get clients, struggled to, you know, turn it into a business. And it's because sometimes you don't know what you don't know. And she thought if she went out there and created her Facebook page, people would just automatically come in. But you don't realize sometimes it takes a little bit more effort or tweaking. And that's why the Academy is so important to have that support and stuff. So Haley, I would say it depends on your goals because uh, what I have seen over the years is when people do the DIY course, they dabble in it and then they get frustrated or they struggle. And if they would have just hopped right in and just had the support right from the beginning, they would have already been at their wow goal by now. You know what I mean? Instead of like, you know, messing around on their own. So it, but you know, it just depends on what your personal situation is, what your goals are. Um, if you have time, if you have time to spare or waste, however you want to look at it, <laughs> but yes, we do have a bookkeeping course and our bookkeeping course. Plus, um, the bookkeeping course is a basic roadmap. It doesn't have any support, any extra trainings, but it is the basic roadmap that you would need. It's a thousand bucks for the DIY course. So if that's something that you want, I can get you access to that or the link, I mean. Oh, let's see. When I'm, uh, Paulette says, when I'm visiting my mom in the UK, I don't need to take the extra money laundering course because my business is based in the US, correct? So if you travel to Jamaica or the UK, or you go to Australia or New Zealand, you don't have to abide by those laws because you are based somewhere else. So unless you decide to make the UK, Australia, New Zealand, your permanent residence, your permanent primary residence, you don't really have to um, abide by those certifications or those money laundering courses or restrictions. So Lona says, I do have one more question. Of course, I am an open book and always happy to answer as many questions as you guys have. I want you guys to feel super excited um, and comfortable with moving forward with this. So absolutely ask away. 
And while you guys are formulating some more questions, I will drop the link for funding in here again. Remember, it only takes about five minutes to apply. You will get your pre-approval within a few hours. Um, definitely hold off on applying until you are ready to go because they move fast and they like people that move fast and so do we. Um, Lona says, I'm a U.S. citizen living in the U.K. Is it possible to work for U.S.-based businesses if I am based in the U.K.? Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you're a, a U.S. citizen, do you have a... When it, when it comes to like international tax stuff, I, I don't know a lot about that. But if you have a the ability to have a U.S. address, you can probably just set up a U.S.-based business and get U.S.-based clients easily. It doesn't matter where you live. I'm You can live anywhere. Um, so, and if you have the ability to have even like a U.S. address somewhere, even with a registered agent, or if you have a family member or something, you might be able to even just put that on most of your business documents. And Lona, if you do decide to do that, you'd still be a great fit for our academy um, because we could help you with all of that stuff. Um, yes, yeah, so the link right there is the link for our regular funding, but for anyone that doesn't qualify for regular funding, it'll go right into the guaranteed funding. So go ahead and use that link to apply because if you do, for some reason, apply, um, get approved for anything else, you're gonna have a lower payment, which would be great. And Danielle, if you get approved for the regular funding, then you'll be able to pull out additional funds for you to use on other things. So I would suggest just starting with that, but if you don't get a pre-approval with that link, you'll automatically get guaranteed approval. And so you'll get you'll get notified about that probably before before the afternoon is up. Lona says I'm a US citizen living in the UK. Oh, I already read that one. Um that is the link, yes. And then go for the LLC in that state. Yeah, Lona, that's what I would suggest doing. So, you know, you might even be able to apply for funding if you have a US address that you can utilize. So, I I really think that's the main thing. If you have a a US address, Somewhere you probably can use that same funding link. And Sharon says, yes, $12,000 for the program. It is for 12 months. And our students that decide to uh, renew for their second, third, or fourth year, they get half price um, for the uh, subsequent years. So it's really nice. It, it's really helpful for you to be able to stay in and continue to get support for years to come. Um, Let's see. So, okay, Nikesha says, yes, I, I hear you. Um, if you guys have, so a lot of people are work, living paycheck to paycheck and they don't have, you know, $640 as wiggle room in their budget, right? And for those of you that are like single parents and you're the only source of income that's coming in, I know it can be really super scary to be able to like take this leap of faith, but one thing that I just want you to think about is this ha is this does this feel like the key for you to getting out of that situation? Because if it if the answer to that is yes, then you have to ask yourself, well, is it worth the risk then? Is it worth the risk of, you know, putting this money into it so that you can then break past that? So obviously that's a personal, you know, question that you got to answer. For me, I felt like it was worth the risk for us. Now I knew like if I didn't get clients in a couple of months, I was going to have to figure something out. I, I mean, I didn't even really have a couple of months. I needed to get clients. Um, we didn't have enough wiggle room in our paycheck either to be able to even stop the $2,000 a month that I really needed. We were already struggling because I paid that nanny. So, um, but it was important to me and I decided I was going to make it work. So, I mean, if you're committed to getting in there, following the steps that we give you, you know, like Crystal did, you can have your first client the next day. I mean, I, I have seen that multiple times. Now, I always like to say it's great ideal scenario. It's great if you have, you know, the first figure out how to have the first couple of payments 
um, just in case, just in case life gets in the way, just in case, um, you know, you've got a limited amount of time, you give yourself some wiggle room, but there really isn't any reason why if you're committed and you come in and you are working the most efficient way and you get started with your marketing right away that you can't get a client pretty quickly to be able to cover the upcoming payments. So now I'm personally the kind of person that I don't like to stress about those things. So I'm okay with like pulling some money off of my credit card. If you've got it to get me by for a few months as a cushion. Um, I've been known to do that many times in my life to help me get to the next level. And um, so if that's something that you guys are open to, that's great. Uh, somebody earlier too, Ngozi said she had a potential client. So if you've got somebody that has a business that you know might um, benefit from having bookkeeping help, you could always also reach out to them and see if you can secure the first couple of payments by um, having them pay you, right? There's a couple of different things that you can do, but I would just see how creative can you get to be able to, to get in there. Um, does that help, Nakisha? Um, let's see, Christy, do you have any kind of success rate data? That is a good question. I don't have an exact like percentage um, that I can share with you, but I will, I will tell you that it is totally dependent on the effort that you put in. So I will say we, we don't have a hundred percent success rate, like a hundred percent of the people that come in, not a hundred percent of them have successful businesses, but it is due to not taking action, not getting feedback. Those are usually the two things that stop people from getting success. They either aren't doing the work that they need to do, or they aren't getting the feedback that they need from our team to help tweak things, to help them get results. They're maybe not taking enough action. So there is a hundred percent success rate for every single person that continues to show up in their business and continues to move forward though. I wholeheartedly a hundred percent believe that no one should fail at this and would fail at this if they keep going. It's impossible. There's 33 million businesses out there. But also success is different for everybody. Is success getting one client? Is success getting 10? Is success making $1,000 a month? Is success making 20? What's your success? But you are in control of your success, but we were we will help you every step of the way and give you as much tools as we can to support you. But we cannot make you have success. So, um, but great question, Christy. Uh, Sharon says, when is your first payment due? You're, if you are in the guaranteed, so here there's two different options with the funding. If you have good credit and you get approved for regular traditional funding, your first payment isn't gonna be due for 30 days. However, if you don't have great credit and you feel like you're probably going to have to go with our guaranteed funding where your payment's gonna be 640, it's due the day you book your call with the lender. So whenever you are ready to get started, you need to have the $640 payment um, ready to go. And then you'll make that first payment. And then the next one's not due for 30 days. So it's basically like $640 down to get into the Academy. If you want to go through our, our guaranteed funding lender. Um, is the guaranteed funding only good for a limited time? I'm not ready to apply just yet, but hopefully in the next couple of months. So yes, I mean, this program is, was given to us by a lender so they could take it away. You know, and I don't have any control over that. We have just been lucky enough to be able to uh, qualify to offer it to you guys. So I have no idea what to expect as far as how long it's going to be around. I think it's probably going to be around for a long time, but I don't have any control over it. So um, you'll probably be fine if you need to wait for a couple of months before you can apply. That's probably totally fine. Um, but just, yeah, stay, stay in touch with us and stay in the loop. So that way, the second you're ready, we can get you in there. All right. What other questions can I answer? You guys are awesome. 
I have faith I will succeed in this because I really want this um, for me and my son. So thank you again for this information. Yes, you're very welcome. We have helped many, many single moms and a lot of them who have been on food stamps and all that kind of stuff really turn their life around and be able to have a profitable business where not only can they provide for their family better than they ever have in the past, but they can also now have the flexibility to be there for them too, because that's really hard when you're a single mom trying to figure out how are you going to pay for everything, but how are you also going to be there when you have to have a job and you have to be committed to this, whatever it is, giving you this paycheck, right? So it's really awesome to be able to have the money, but then also have the flexibility and time for your, for your son. Thank you very much for being on here, Benita. You guys are all going to be getting um, follow-up texts from my husband, Sean. He's going to be reaching out to all of you guys with the, the link if you want it um, for funding, but to also be available to ask um, or answer any more of your questions too. So um, please respond to his text and let him know if there's anything else that you have questions about, and we will help make sure you get squared away. And for those of you that did apply for funding or plan to apply for funding here in the next um, few days, he will help make sure that your applications are getting through really quickly. So <laughs> thank you so much, Christy. I'm excited for you. I think this will be great for you. So, all right, well, let's see. Um, congratulations to Megan and Melinda for submitting their applications. We will stay on top of that. And um, I will be back on Saturday if anybody wants to join me or if you guys have uh, any family members that you want to invite on here or even friends that you think might um, benefit from doing this themselves too, feel free to bring them on and get all of their questions answered as well. And we look forward to seeing you guys all in the Academy. So I'll talk to you soon. Everyone have a wonderful Thursday. Bye.